We know how to get more carbon in soil. Pasture rotations is by far the most effective way to do that. But at the same time, especially coming out of the drought, we've seen mixed farmers drop their livestock enterprises and go continual cropping. And the farmers are starting to get into trouble with that because we've had, in some cases, just minimum till farming, continual cropping, so very little cultivation. And what we're finding is we've got soil acidity in the few centimetres down from the soil surface. It's a stratified profile, so the, the pH in the top few centimetres is actually up around six, six and a half. But then, you know, four centimetres down, six centimetres down, it's pH 4, 4.2, 4.5. When people take a 0 to 10 soil core, what they're effectively getting is an average of that top 10 centimetres. But plants don't see averages. I mean, you know, soil is not cultivated. They see layers. And so if we plant our seeds three, four centimetres down, you're actually planting it in that acid. If you are minimum tilling, that acid layer stays there. We recommend liming and then incorporate that lime down so that you're mixing the lime in with the soil that is acid. A lime application is like money in the bank. You're putting it in the soil and it's going to be there doing a job for, for years. If you know you're going to, to grow a, a sensitive crop you know, two years from now, then put the lime in this year and then it's got a whole year to dissolve, to change that pH. Ideally you would have incorporated it, you would have worked it in and so it's working in that time to raise that pH. So that then you come in with your sensitive crop and the conditions are perfect and that's when you're going to get the greatest agronomic benefit from that lime addition. You minimise the risk of failure of that sensitive crop. I've seen growers take 0 to 10 centimetre sample, have borderline pHs, average pHs and think, oh I can get away with not putting lime on this year, grow a sensitive crop, have very, very, very bad establishment to the point of crop failure and, and that particular grower that I'm thinking of said, I lost my canola crop that year and I still had to put the lime out next year anyway. So it saved nothing. So recommendation would be, you know what's coming, get the lime in the ground, get the pH up before you sow that sensitive crop. That's the, the most sensible thing to do.